Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Megnius and this is the second episode of our A Look At series. Today we're going to take a look at the game Spirits. This game was on sale during the Christmas, Winter, Steam Summer Sale for approximately $2.50. It was quite cheap and I looked at the art style and thought it looked pretty cool so I thought I would buy it. In retrospect, I think this was a very bad idea and let me show you why. First of all, I want to point out that that nice ambient music in the background you hear is quite quite nice i like that that's good in the options i have music down to this low now for those of you who are using headphones i very strongly suggest that you turn down your volume because yeah you'll see what happens let's play the first level again turn down your volume Alright, so I'm sorry if I broke any of your speakers, but yeah, that's generally what happens in this game during cutscenes and stuff like that. So what are we looking at here? We have these little white things walking around, and well, long story short, they are the spirits of fallen leaves. Apparently leaves, they've, they've fallen, their spirits are walking around, they're lost, and they want to go home. Their home can be gotten to via this little portal thing. And that's great. How do you get them from here to here? This is where this game is called an action strategy indie game. And although I agree that it is indeed indie and it is strategy, let's not really say that it's an action game. I feel like that's being a little bit disingenuous. The goal is to use the spirits of these leaves, thus killing them in the process I assume, to click them and then make various structures or abilities that enable you to get up to where you want to go. So. For example, this is a cloud that can blow air this way. And that clearly didn't work at all, as you can see right there. Yeah, that, that was a bad idea, so I, I almost screwed up already. So let's, let's blow our little spirits up there, that's wonderful. They walk, they walk. And we need to get at least one in here to actually win, so let's... Do this again. Whee! And then the level is completed. You get more points by getting more spirits into the swirl, and you get even more points by getting... Yes, next level. You get even more points by getting a plant. I don't know if there are any plants on this level. No, there are not. Alright. So let's, let's go ahead and try this. Alright, very good. Very nice. Gonna blow them up. Some of them are gonna fall down. But I think that some of them are going to blow this way. Yes? Very good. Nice. Whee! And the level is completed. What can I do to speed up time? Yes, hold in the middle mouse button to speed up time. Hurry, hurry, go, go. I want to finish, that would be nice. Yes, fly! Okay, completed this level. Next, plants. See this thing right here? This is a plant, and you can get it, and it gives you even more points. What exactly is the point of getting plants? Well, I don't know. Oh, here's a new thing for you. You can make a little bridge using your body to make leaves. Check that out. Isn't that fun? So I didn't get the plant, but you can click Click on your guys. Ah, there you go. And I got the plant that time, because I clicked on it and shot this little ball of energy out, which somehow got me the plant. I don't I don't really understand why. But basically the only point in this game as far as I've seen so far is to rack up points to get onto a leaderboard, a scoreboard, and I'm not really sure why I care about that at all. So of course, like, there are more things that you learn as you go through the game. There are different structures, which I believe there are actually only four of them. Make a little bridge. Right, speed up time. And as you go, you're going to learn how to do some more things. Like, for example, some of these structures, I'll just go ahead and show you. I'm not really sure what this one does, because I never got to it. But this one lets you bore through the ground, basically drill through with your body. And that's, that's sort of cool, I guess. But it's not really that... 
I don't... Uh, I find myself asking myself, why? Why am I playing this game? Like, it's it's sort of cool, I guess. It's it's a puzzle game, that's for sure. I think they should have replaced that action with puzzle, a puzzle strategy indie game instead. But, eh, the art style is cool, so if you enjoy the cool art style, then I guess 250 is worth it. Now let's look at some of the quotes that are placed on Steam for this game. I'm not actually going to play this level because honestly I don't care at this point. Let's see, good game get said, quote unquote, clearly one of the best contemporary puzzle games today. And you know what, I'm, I don't really have a lot of experience to be able to refute that or not. Maybe this is indeed one of the best puzzle games of our age. But that says a lot more about what kinds of puzzle games that people are making than actually how good this game is. Maybe there are no good puzzle games being made these days. I just... Maybe I'm an asshole, maybe I don't really like like puzzle games in the first place, which is true, they're not really my favorite genre, but I really feel that this game is lacking in a lot of ways. Like, it's it's cool, I guess, but I don't... I don't feel any particular reason why I should care if these leaves even get home. There doesn't appear to be any sort of story whatsoever. There's no sort of... Well, much of anything other than please get these little spirits to hear and just for the heck of it just to get some more points so you can feel good about yourself on an online scoreboard try to get these plants too and that's really not something that i feel motivates me to play a game so this is the end of a look at spirits in my personal opinion i don't think that you should buy it but if you like the art style which admittedly is quite cool then maybe you should buy it when it's on sale for like 250 like i did meh Anyway, that concludes a look at Spirits. This was Magnius. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the content and want to see more, please like the video. Tell me in the comments how awesome this video was, or tell me how much it sucked, so I can learn from constructive criticism and get better. Don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Goodbye.